Hello and welcome back to Hobby Fist Does Some uh, Geogasser. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope it's been a good one or will be a good one. If this is a kick off your day, thanks. Yeah, I, whatever. I'm I'm appreciative of you guys hanging out and watching this all the time. It means a lot to me, and I hope it's entertaining to you in some way. Uh, but as we saw on Monday's episode, I had a lot of Russia ones. Two Russia, two America, and then one single stuck in the center of a uh, store in Russia, or in Germany, and I wasn't able to move anywhere. And we're stuck here with Magazine, P-R-O-D-O-O-K-T, Produce, I'm guessing that's Magazine Produce, maybe that's what this, Teal, T-V-L's like, Eel, again, it's that weird noise they make when they have the TBL. Like, if any of you took French, I mean, I did. I don't know if it's the same for uh, Spanish, but when you go through the different types of verbiage, there's I, you, him, her, we, you, plural, uh, them, the pluralized. The way the Russia was is the me is ya, you is Tail, I believe. God, it's been a while. I think it's TBL that you saw there on the side of that store, wherever the hell that is. We're just going to stick in a direction and go in it here. Because unless I see some highway signage here, this is just another uh, guess completely into where we are in Russia. We're 100 meters from Vagodka. S H P O O N T. Spunt. Okay. I'm sure that means something, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering all those people who actually can speak Russian. I'm a bit rusty. That is a drooping power line that any moment could just fall over. Now well, we're just gonna hopefully see something that tells me anything, but even then, if I see like a province sign it's not it's not gonna help me we're stuck over a crest hopefully okay get us over the edge here i don't want to go backwards come on um well we're leaving minala mianyala mianyala it's I, i've got a minute 20 i'm just gonna sit here and maybe see it it doesn't look like this is a big enough anything but every time i guess you saw on monday first one it's over here happened to be here the second one was like yeah maybe it's over here no it's back over here so i'm just fucked regardless because this like being from here to here that's like a, a thousand points and i just feel like the easiest way to hedge your bet with this stuff is just kind of hover around the east because oh let's get that a little bigger because hey it's it's russia if you were to kind of do the same thing you can do with Canada, where I think it's 90% of the Canadian population lives within 100 miles of the U.S. border. Maybe it's 1,000. I forget the actual uh, breakup, whatever you want to call it. But when you think about Russia, maybe the most... This is O-P-P-O-L-A. Opola? Opola. I don't know. Maybe most of the Russian population maybe hovers around the east because you got Moscow here, you've got Leningrad or St. Petersburg, excuse me. You got the Crimea down here, you got um the only thing I can think of that are big enough cities over here in the west is uh Vladivostok and Irtusk. But you think there's like this is desolation town. Yeah, okay, whatever. I I I didn't see water anywhere, whatever, I got 2,000 points, whatever, one star, next round, no more Russia. Um, Turkey? No, this, this is, uh... Oh man, this, this is, uh, Central Europe? Maybe somewhere around here. I'm gonna check like right there. Maybe that can help me. Well, there was that. There was that bus here. Is it, oh, well. 
I think that sums it up here, at least. We're going to put you there, because I don't know what else... Well, there's some signage here. Maybe this will help. Um... Uh, 17. How far do I have to... Okay, I don't really have to go that far. Well, let's do some, uh, sleuth in here, I guess, and look for the 17. 11, 27, 21. We're just gonna scan around here. I don't see 17 anywhere. So I guess we're gonna have to, uh, enhance. And start in the north again, and make our way this way. This is the same way I'm clearing a map when I play Diablo. You start on the borders first, then you work your way through the middle. Wait, where are we again? Okay. 17. There's 17. There's Pirna. 172. There's 172. Um, well, this is the 17, and then, wait, let's get back here. Pirna is there. It's straight up 172, not 172A. But if you head this way, you have an option to get to the 17, but they don't really connect. But there is a 172A. So we're going to go with that. Okay, nice. We've got... We, we, we've we narrowed this down quite a bit. Uh, can we find a Torna? Or Reich? Anything around here? Nothing? Well, I got a minute 40. Let's uh, take a bit more... Oh, we've got something here. Uh, I cannot make that out. And I can... Where the Hotel Biminiminiminu. Hotel Biminiminiminiminu. Well, it's definitely not the Verto Vongus Steinman Croft Pirna. I don't know. But I think we've nailed this down to at least within the 4,000 range. So, let's uh, get off this road and take a little look. Can I? Can I? No? Fine. Wait, what's that say? Durka. Well, that's something taken straight from Team America War Police. Oh, autofocus24.de. Well, that's the German domain name for internet, if you don't know it. Dat Deutsch. Uh, 41 seconds, I feel like I, I've, I'm in a satisfactory enough position that even if I don't happen to see anything else here, I'm willing to, I'm happy with sticking with where we are right now. We're cranking on this. Oh, it's still pretty quiet. Let me put in this other headphone. I want to make sure this audio level is not too overbearing. No, it seems fine. 15 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and make the click here. Oh, we're definitely farther up north, huh? Oh, there's Reich and Torna. Well, shit. Four stars. You earned it. Hello, side of mountain. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Well, I feel like this is either going to be this area or this area. The Alps? Well, let's see if I can't see anything on this, uh, that's the Trackmaster. I feel like the only ones that have a gear shift on there are Polaris ATVs. At least that's the ones I remember from the short amount of time I've actually went hunting. I believe that's the logo for the Opal, which is a... Oh, we can't, we can't make this out. It is a... Opal, I believe, was a German uh, car manufacturer, or was that Czech? I don't remember. Let's just make it down this mountain. This looks amazing. I would like to walk this. I mean, I would get winded after three steps because I'm a fat piece of shit, but that's just besides the point. This is really nice. Nice summer stroll. I mean, someone coming down the road, you're fucked because you're going to have to hit reverse for a long way. What is this thing? Nothing. Outhouse of some sort? I don't know. Let's keep going. Um... Hopefully I can get down to the bottom of this mountain and maybe see some... This... Looks so nice. I'm gonna... Well, we're in Europe. And I feel we're in the Alpish... Regions of Europe. Just 
Switzerland, maybe. Oh, let's put us like right there. This looks so nice. I would like to visit sometime, yeah? Nothing on the... Nope, nothing on the posts. All right, fine. Let's just keep heading down the mountain. This S turns. I mean, I remember hearing stories about if you happen to be going down in a car on a very steep mountainous hill like this, uh, be careful about actually breaking down it because uh, you can do a thing, and they the way it was explained to me, I heard this on, I forget, maybe it was uh, some auto show on the radio or something, that you can, they're called glassing your brakes, which is like a constant amount of friction you put on it that um, eventually overheats the disc brake to the point where it just becomes an extremely smooth surface. Oh, is that a Swiss flag? Unflur... No, that... Italy? Yeah, I guess it's Italy, so we're going to put you, like, right here, I guess. But you can very easily make your... Oh, we've got... Giordana? Well, let's take a look. You can very easily, uh... Clash your brakes, as they said, and then what will happen is you will have zero actual brake on your... Uh, brake pads or disc brake, whatever the hell it's called. I'm not a really big car person, but all I know is those two things connected together is just a really bad combination, and uh, you'll end up just not being able to brake at all going down the hill. Is this Jamona? I don't know what that sign... I can't... Commune... Maybe it's Jordana? I, I, I don't know yet. I feel like maybe putting us there... And then I'll be mad if it actually... No, you were right the first time, because it always turns out that I was right the first time. Well, I guessed better. Closer the first time. That's not always... Wow. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. These are some... Oh, Trattoria Dunas. I think Trattoria is... Uh, Italian thing, but just look at this view. Nice summer day. It looks so cool. Yeah, I guess I was closer the first time, I think. Definitely. Does it say whatever it's called there? Yeah, Gordon. I guess that's what that says. All right. Five stars because that place just looked amazing. This, however, is garbage graphic town. Um, I don't know if we're in America again because this also could be... Australia? I'm just hoping I can get to a road enough. Oh, thank God. Speed limit 75. Okay, so this is a specific part of the U.S. where their speed limit is 75, which makes me feel like it's maybe one of these states. I think Montana's speed limit is 85? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. Each state has its own set speed limit. That's the wonders of uh, the states kind of have their own autonomy when it comes to that stuff. I mean, the general, oh wait, that's Texas, so never mind. Shows how much I know. That's definitely Texas, but maybe we'll put us there. Wait, that said whatever city limits, so I'm going to back up a bit and maybe... Well, we're in the seven-mile lane. All right, well, this is a highway. And I'm going to go back up here because that said some sort of uh, Rizel. I don't feel it's... Rizel is that big of a part of Texas, but I'm just going to do a quick scan to see if it comes up anywhere here. And if you see it, well, good on you. You have better eyes than me. No. Okay, so we're just going to keep moving along, and hopefully within the next two minutes I can see what highway this is, or route, I don't know. But good to know, hey, if you happen to be in Texas, I guess special no engine brakes by city ordinance. A lot of places have that. Don't ask me what an actual engine brake sounds like, but apparently it's obnoxious enough that you can't um, enjoy it within city limits, I guess. Hit the spot grill. Home style cooking. Tuesday through Saturday. All right. Maybe I'll stop by. Well, that's... Oh, I didn't want to jump there. I just want to snake my way down. 
the highway so I can see a sign. It probably just says Riesel. Broadway Street. You know, for this being a city limit, there's like zero city here. Give me something, a cemetery. Minute 20, I've still not seen any highway signs. Give me anything, please. I'm looking on both sides and I'm not seeing anything. Nope. 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 Come on. Don't let me down. Um, I don't see anything next. Maybe this has something? Well, one way. No, it does. Wait, wait, wait. That looks like a highway sign. We're at the junction of Farm Road 1860. Well, thank you for nothing. Mart in Lake Creek? Come on, please. Something a little bit more... Road zoned ahead. No, this doesn't help me. This doesn't help me. Car, come on, move! Up farther. I don't want to, like, fly by. Farm Road 18... Yeah, you, you, you're not helping. I'm going to put us there. Because it's the center of the state. And again, I don't know... Oh, South Route 6. I have 10 seconds! God damn it. Route 6. How close do I got to get? a lot of numbers. Route 6? Oh. Google... No, I didn't want to... God damn it. F... Give me back to GeoGuessr. Thank you. F11. Oh, okay. So there is an actual Mart. Oh, we're right outside Waco. Alright, four stars. We'll go. Round 5. And this... No smoking? I don't know what that says. There's a... Pacific Northwest? Canada? Uh, too blurry. Can't make that out. Those look like... Those ropes, for some reason, look like chickens to me. Let's, uh... Get moving. So... Wait, does that say miles per hour? So we're in the U.S. Up against some mountains here, I get... Come on. Man, this thing is... Not liking clicking on this road here because it's all weird angle. Again, quick, quick first glance, no idea. This very well could be Pacific Northwest. This could be the Ozarks. This could be a lot of places. There's a lot of mountains. Is this up oh, just for a mile? That doesn't help me. Come on, come on, get down the. Oh, GeoGuessr, come on, you're, you're, you're not, you're, you're actively, no, I didn't want to look up. Actively playing against me here. It's just, uh, we got nothing, I can't, they're logging here, that again. Why did you switch my camera like that? Getting nothing here. Any, no flags. No state pride here, I guess. Oh, we got a sign. We have probably steep incline warning. Oh, this is traffic advisory. Traveler info. Turn to the AM, because that's all AM's good for now is traffic and really scratchy talk radio. My dad would always listen to talk radio in his car, and it was weird because he would drive a standard, and for some reason, congestion ahead. Whenever he would rev his engine, it would interfere with the... AM signal, and it would make like this weird like, little metallic farting noise whenever you would listen to... He was a big Rush Limbaugh fan, so whenever you would listen to Rush Limbaugh, whenever he would talk, it'd go like... Bring! Whenever he would talk over, and it just made me laugh. So we're near a boat, well, a lake of some sort. Cape Elementary School, I believe that says. I still have no idea where in the U.S. this is. But we're near water, and I'm just going to put us there until something else says otherwise because fuck this would be a lot of places still I've not seen any road signs I have not seen anything well speed limit 50 that's this is the I think that's what the maximum speed limit is on non-highway roads in the US get a minute and I've got nothing here we go 
We got Kalalalam Bay. Is there like a Kalalalam Bay up here? Litter control, Adapa Highway. Coos Bay. Dunes, Newport. Cape Mears. This doesn't say bays on it. I'm going to roll the dice and say we're up here, but this very well could be central U.S. I mean, God. I'm just seeing a lot of pine trees, and it makes me feel like, why did you do that? Pacific Northwest. It's a bay. I can only think of bays and non-massive bodies of water. Wait, maybe that car had a license plate I can look at. It's kind of a white with blue. Oh, wait. Well, they needed the money, I guess. Uh, nothing there. What? What is in the sky? Oh, I'm not. I have run out of time. Hopefully I was right. Okay. All right. Is there a Kalalalam Bay around here? Oh, there it is. Kalalalam Bay. All right. Pacific Northwest. Three stars. You earned it. Oh, shit. That's the end. Oh, my God. We did get over 20,000. Even with that awful rush, I guess. I guess turned out pretty well. Uh, I guess I can't complain too much as I try to crack my knuckle without destroying my finger. There we go. But hey, we made it. 20,000 points. I don't know what my average is, but it's got to be kind of awful. Um, but hey, thanks for all watching and witnessing this amazing work I just did. I'm going to pat myself on the back a bit here. But hey, uh, thank you all for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all the stuff in the description below. Get at me, or whatever you kids say these days. I don't know. But hey, hope you guys come back on Friday. Or if you haven't had a chance to check out the videos this week, we're doing. I'm, I'm making Evo play a lot of awful Nintendo games I played as a kid. Um, to see how he handles it. And I'm going to give you a hint. Doesn't handle it very well. But there's some really weird bullshit games in there anyway. But hey, uh, if not, come back Friday and watch some more uh, GeoGuessr with me. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you then.